Hi everyone and welcome to the channel and welcome to another learning CAD Sketcher for beginners. And today we're going to be looking at a tool in CAD Sketcher called the Add Working Plane. This one here. So this is accessed from a long click on this icon here. And we've got this Add Working Plane. So to use it, we can pick a location anywhere in the scene. Let's say that's pick a location here by clicking once left clicking and as we move out we can move this in the direction where we want it to be placed and from there we can add a sketch to this working plane let's just click on the solver space tool and we can click on this and move it about the scene if we come over to the right hand side here and bring the flyout bar out and click on sketcher and look down at entities, you can see the working plane is sitting here and we've got controls that allows us to place this in the correct position. So you can see we've got the X, Y and Z and down here we have the X rotation, the Y rotation and the Z rotation. Now when placing this working plane, let's click on it and hit delete. And also I'm going to delete these as well, all these in here, all to do with the working plane. When we place the working plane, it's best to place ourselves in a viewpoint that makes it easier to position and rotate the plane. So I'm just gonna click on this cube. Let's use the normal pointer to come out to the top here. Click on this cube and hit delete. At the moment, I'm looking at an angle across the X, Y, and Z axis. So when we place a working plane, it's gonna be placed with the normal running across an axis. So if I want the normal to run across the Y axis, so the normal, if I think about a plane from the X axis, if I place a plane in here, the normal will be running towards me so as we're looking down it'll be directly running through the x axis here because i'm looking down on the x axis if i use the tool this one here the add work plane not the for long click add work plane to mesh the add work plane if i click on that and when i click what will happen is that you'll see a line which will be the working plane and the normal will run Across this way so I'm looking along the y-axis at the moment if I click once and come out you'll see that the working plane the normal is running this way across here and if you look down to the bottom as I type 9 0 you can see that I can position that working plane using an angle. So I just positioned that working plane just by typing in nine and zero. So it's 90 on the X. And if I delete, you can see I've deleted, look down the bottom, you can see nine, delete again, and we're back to a free rotation. So if I type in nine, zero, or if I delete that, 45, we got that degree there. Or delete that and put minus 45, we're going the other way. So we can position this in the correct place. So 45, if I hit tab, I go to the next one. You can see the star, if you look down to the bottom, or down to here, you can see the star is around now the X, Y, and Z. If I tab again, we're on the Z, and we can enter the value of rotation using the keyboard. Just remember to hit delete to remove value that's currently in there. I'm gonna hit 90. Once I'm happy, I just click, and you can see under the entities, the parts of that working plane have been added. Let's bring our scene around this way, and you can see the working plane there. And we've got the 90 degrees, and at the moment it's minus one millimeter. I can zero this out and move over to the next one, and that zeroes myself along that axis there. And we've got the minus five here that moves this along this axis. 
Now, the reason why we would want to use something like this, because we can add a sketch to this by just clicking on it using this tool here, clicking on it and then hit add sketch, is that we can set up multiples of these in different directions. And this is good for such things as lofting, sweeps, etc. If we look along the right hand side here, we can see there are a number of different things here. So we've got this one here. Let's bring this out a bit. So let's bring this out here. So we've got a point 3D, a normal 3D and a work plane. So this one here is the actual work plane. So you can highlight that one so you can see it there. Let's hide that and we just have the point 3D there. The normal 3D is the normal from this point. So it's pointing this way. And though we hide the normal 3D, you can't really see that. But if we start rotating this, you can see that the normal 3D now, if I bring this around, will be pointing basically in this direction. And we can rotate this around along the X, like so, place this along the X. You can see where that's going. Let's put this back to 90 and hit enter. So as we said before, we can add multiple planes. So if I click on the X and come down to the add work plane, I can place one here, bring this out, type in 90 again. See it's been added on the wrong right hand side here and then click again somewhere like this and bring this out, type in 90 again. And you can see, well, we've got normal 3D 0, 1 and 2, and these are all those working planes. And you can see them when I click them here, they've been added. And we can position these in the correct place. So for instance, that's set the zero along the X and all these to zero. And we can set where these are going to sit. So I want this one, let's say at minus 20 millimeters. That will move that off in that direction there. Let's click X and zoom out so we can see where it's gone. This one we do minus 10. And this one will place at zero. So we've positioned those planes along the Y axis at those positions. So if we was going to create something called a loft through here, then we can add the individual sketches just by clicking add sketch and selecting say this plane and then click on the Y and add our geometry say let's place a circle in here like so leave the sketch bring this around and you can see that circle is upon that plane we added so at the moment the plane has been made invisible let's bring that back you can see it there so let's add another sketch bring this around i'm going to add a sketch to this plane this one here so using my solar space select, I can select this plane and then add a sketch. Now I'm sketching upon that plane. So anything I add will be on that plane. And you can see the little green points there showing where that's actually placed. Let's leave that sketch and that's add another sketch so add sketch now i have to be careful here so i've got to pick the right plane so i've accidentally clicked off of that so let's go add sketch again and select this plane you can see the green point come around and add say another sketch there i would be doing this from the y Axis, just adding that in there. But we get the idea of how that's going to work. So we can see those individual sketches on there. 
And if we come in, we can change the normal of one, place it in a different position, angle it at a different position, and the same with this one as well. So we can set up sweeps and lofts through the different sketches. So what I'm going to do is leave that at that point with this video. And then in the next video, we're going to create a loft through a number of sketches in this manner. So we'll create something like probably a boat or something like that, a very simple boat using this technique. So I hope that's given you an idea of how to use that working plane, how to set it up, how to rotate it, etc. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. If you're enjoying these videos and you would like to support the channel, then you can do so via my Ko-Fi page. That's at ko-fi.com forward slash mj3d studio. Any donations will be used to help to span the channel. I'd like to thank you all for watching and I hope to see you again soon.